What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy Cash, live and direct with another valuable, valuable video for you. Okay, so this topic has already been discussed in another video, but I found out some new things about it and I wanted to share it with you guys because I know it will help you out a lot, okay? So this is how to make dope thumbnails, you know, the 2019 version part two basically, okay? So uh, the first thing you wanna do is you want to download the PixArt app from the uh, Play Store, okay? So if you don't know what app that is, let me see if I can go here to my app store, okay? And then you wanna you wanna go here and you wanna type in Pix Art and it should pop up. Pix Art Photo Studio, okay? So you'll click on that and then you'll just download that, okay? Once you have that, you wanna go to Google, okay? Now, as far as this is gonna be how you want your background to be, so I usually do like the beach or like a nice vacation spot, something that's kind of bright and catchy, or you could do a mansion. It just really depends on whatever the video is about and how you wanna do it. But I'll give you guys an example. So I'll say uh, beach, okay? And then I'll just go find a nice image of the beach. So just, you know, for video purposes, let's say I wanted to use this one, okay? I will go ahead and download that image, okay? And then I will go back to my app, if I can find it. <laughs> I will go to my PixArt app, okay? Okay, so I'm on the PixArt app. Once you're on the app, you just wanna find the photo that you want to use. Now, for this method that I'm going to do, I'll be removing the background. So normally when you're wanting to do, you know, um, a thumbnail and you wanna remove your background, you normally wanna be uh, on a solid wall. So if you have a white wall in your house or just somewhere that's kind of a solid color, it's kind of best to do that because it makes it a lot easier for the program to read it. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I'll use this picture here. Well, wait, before I use that, let me add in my background photo. Okay, so I'll add in my background photo first. First thing I wanna do is go to tools, go to crop, and then go all the way down here to where it says YouTube, okay? And you wanna click that. And then you wanna click the check mark. So sometimes uh, the picture may be really large and then you wanna downscale it to the YouTube size so it'll fit the full frame of the YouTube. Okay, so after you click that, then you wanna go to add photo. So you wanna scroll over, click on add photo. And I'm gonna go all the way back down to the original photo because the one that I had at the top is already cut out. So I'm just gonna keep scrolling. I got a lot of pictures and stuff in here. Uh, there it is. So I'll pick this photo because it has a solid white background, okay? And then what I'll do is I can scale this up. So I'll make this a little larger and I'll move it over around here to the side, okay? So once you figure out what side you want it on, all you have to do is click cut out. Now cut out is like right here at the bottom next to crop. You click cut out, okay? And then all you have to do is draw a line around yourself. So you just take your finger and the line doesn't have to be perfect and you just start drawing, okay? So draw on the outside of yourself. We all been to school, you know, we all know how to do this, I hope. <laughs> all right, so you just draw a pretty nice solid line around yourself. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then you'll go ahead and click the arrow at the top and then it will mask you out, right? So as you guys can see, I'm masked out. My whole body is red, so it's gonna remove the background. Now, if you zoom in a little closer, you can see up here by my hair, that uh, some of it is gonna get the white part. So if you don't want that, the eraser is already selected, but you can select it again. On the size, you can uh, downscale the size, and then you can just gradually go over that until you remove as much of it as you can, as you would like, okay? Once That's pretty good, so I won't do too much, okay? So once you get it how you want it, the only thing you have to do is click on save, right? As you guys can see, the background is now removed, Okay, and then you can take this toggle at the top and turn yourself just a little bit, if you would like, and make yourself even bigger, and then you can move yourself down, right? Now, you click the check mark at the top, the very top, and now that's saved. And then all you have to do after that is simply click on text down here at the bottom, and then add your own text, guys. So I like to do things like this just because I know it, it catches people interest. And that's the thing about thumbnails. You want to make people want to click on the video. So when they see stuff like this, you know, then they're gonna click on the video. So the colors I usually do is green. I usually do green. And then I'll go here to stroke 
and I'll just click stroke and it automatically darkens the background uh, to black. And then you can just increase the black just a little. You can make this a lot bigger if you want to. I usually turn mine just a little bit. Okay, so something like that. Then I'll save that one. Then I'll go back to text and I'll usually do something like per day. So I'll usually do per and then I'll make per red because these are usually kind of the colors that you guys see on my channel a lot. And then I'll go back to stroke and then I'll increase that a little bit and I'll make that just a little smaller and then I'll turn it here at the top and then I'll put that around right there. So you guys kind of see how this is going. I'll save that again, I'll do one more and then I'll do a day and then you could do like some type of emoji if you would like, like a cash emoji or something like that. And then you can just simply turn that one like that, you know, make it as big as you would like, of course. And then I usually make this one kind of like a yellow, right? So we'll go to colors. Like I said, it doesn't have to be just super perfect, but it's just gonna catch people's interest. And then I'll go to stroke and that's all she wrote. Now you can make that big or little. It's completely up to you, however you wanna do it, okay? So that's pretty much how I do my thumbnails. Now, like I said, you can go in and go overboard and add arrows and all that kind of stuff, all these different money bags and fires and all that type of stuff. If that's, uh, sorry about that. If that's something that you guys like to do. So, you know, if you wanna add all this extra stuff somewhere, you know, <laughs> I usually say less is more, but you know, little stuff, little crazy stuff like that. So we won't add that, but that's pretty much how you would add uh, and make a really, really nice eye-catching thumbnail. So if this video helped you in any way, guys, uh, hit the like button, comment below what other videos you want to see, and I'll definitely be on the gas uh, all week. I'm, I'm trying to make a video every single day, uh, so just let me know. And if I don't make a video every single day, don't kill me, okay? I'm just, you know, I'm trying to make sure I get as much co uh, quality content out as possible. But hopefully that helped you guys. And then all you have to do is just uh, hit the check mark and then hit that arrow at the very top, okay? And then go ahead and click save and then save again. And it is now in your uh, browser or your gallery when you go check out your photos, okay? So like I said, hopefully that helped. Uh, comment below uh, if this video helped you. If you need help with anything, my number's below. If you wanna know my number one way for, uh, for making money online, that's also in the comment section and also in the description. Shoot me a text, uh, email, whatever it is, guys, and I'll be sure to help you out. Other than that, peace. Yeah.